Is Super Smash Brothers worth buying today? Well, short answer is, that depends on your budget. What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex, this is As The Cheese Gaming. I'm back with yet another Nintendo 64 video game review for you this week. This time, I'm going to take a look at Super Smash Brothers. It was developed by HAL Laboratory and published by Nintendo. with a North American release date of April 26, 1999. Smash 64, as it's better known, is a 1-4 to four player fighting game where you can pick and fight with a whole host of characters from Nintendo's library. There's a total of 8 characters to start with 4 more hidden fighters that you can unlock and you get to play on 9 stages. You could play in Classic Mode, Verse Battle, or a couple of mini games such as Board the Platform or Break the Target. At the time that this game was made, Nintendo and Hell Laboratory decided that they wanted to try something new and kind of tweak the formula on fighting games. So instead of having health bars, instead you take damage as a percentage. The more damage you take, the further and further your character flies. Each, car each arena or stage has borders and if you can knock your opponent off you win likewise the controls were also very much simplified a is for your basic or normal attacks and b is for your special attacks and let me just say that the controls in this game are absolutely smooth and flawless it really feels like this is where the game shines best now, speaking of changes and chances that nintendo took they also decided to do something new with the music and sound effects. Each stage has the song from that character's game, such as when you play on Donkey Kong stage, you'll hear Jungle Jeeps. Now likewise, this game's sound effects are also fantastic. You really felt like Nintendo and Hal just showed a lot of passion for this game. Truth be told, if I had to pick just 20 Nintendo 64 games that I believe are must own, this one would definitely make the cut. Arguably even top 10 or top 15 at least. Now, for those that are on a tight budget and want to get this game, I would actually recommend going buy the Japanese version, which is just under a price charting price of 10 bucks. But to find this game in the wild, for the regular version, it's about 50. So, it's value has definitely gone up. Thanks for watching. Until next time.